What's up, guys? So, I I woke up this morning to some some pretty interesting comments, and it, this isn't anything new. This happens uh, all the time whenever there's a, a world situation. But you know, yesterday I posted some some things like I'll pray for Ukraine, and um, and I posted some Christians in Ukraine that were singing and praising Jesus through all of the craziness, and I get comments that are like. Oh, prayers don't work. There's no God coming to save them. Oh yeah, that's all good. Let them let them sing, but there's no God out there that's going to save them. God's not doing anything. And then you have uh, people on the other side that are like, uh, Oh, so God's just going to sit back and watch this war happen and not do anything? What kind of God is that? You serve an evil God. And this is nothing new. But what I find very interesting about it is this is pretty layered, right? Um... Because people who uh, identify as atheists, meaning they don't believe in God, uh, they have to search for, for something to believe in. And, and one of the things that they believe in is the moral high ground, right? And they use moments like this to take their cheap shots at, uh, at Christians who have very good intentions with, you know, just saying things like pray for Ukraine and, and singing songs and trying to lift people's spirits. And I'm in agreement that people need to do something about this but is it really a good time to be throwing shots at people who are praising jesus in their country when their country is going to war who are trying to lift people's spirits by singing who are genuinely praying to god these people actually believe that their prayers are going to help and they have good intentions in their praying and you take this opportunity to just throw shots at them and say how stupid they are uh, where's the moral high ground uh, on that? Another thing is that uh, what atheists forget is that communism is rooted in Marxism, which is rooted in removing religion from everything. And if you are unaware, Russia is a communist country. And if we just look at what history says about communist regimes and anti-religious governments, if you just look at the numbers, 148 million people have been massacred under atheist regimes. The reason why this happens is because when you truly, truly believe deep down in your core that we are nothing more than evolved soup, that we're nothing more than smart monkeys and, and a bunch of atoms bumping into each other, and anything that we do with our hundred year long lives has absolutely no meaning. If you are an evil person with that mentality, I'm not saying that all atheists think like this, but when you are an evil person with that much power, you turn into a Stalin. People like to make fun of religion. They like to make fun of God. They like to do all of this. And, you know, I, I discussed this in my video yesterday that this stuff is going to become more prevalent as we get closer to the end times. More people are going to turn away from the faith. They're going to be scoffing and making fun of Jesus. And, you know, when's he coming back? Is he ever coming back? And, and all of these arguments are rhetorical they're not grounded in any logic but i just i just really find it interesting for people who believe they have the moral high ground over especially christianity for them to be showing up and and throwing out comments like this about ukrainians that are singing in ukraine trying to lift people's spirits while they got bombs being dropped on them all around you want to take that opportunity to say, oh yeah, that's cool, but ain't no God coming to save them. Yeah, real good job, buddy. Real good job. Real sensitive. So anyway, for those of you that are listening, there is good logical reason to believe in God. And governments that believe in the Christian God tend to treat their people way better than the ones who completely remove God from everything. All you have to do is look at the statistics. But anyway, I've been holding this phone for too long and now my hand is shaking and uh i need to get to reading the bible reading the stupid bible i gotta get to reading that with the spaghetti monster in the sky i gotta see what he's saying today so have a good one guys talk to you soon